Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Jen, the Caffeinated Crafter, and welcome to part two of my 2023 end of year whip parade slash 2024 start parade. Um, if you're new to my channel, I would like to welcome you. This is a channel where I talk about all my cross stitch projects. I have, I have a lot. Next year, I'll have a crap ton more. Um, if you're returning to my channel, I would like to welcome you back. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing and following along in this craziness that I have going on. Uh, if you have not seen part one, go ahead and uh, check that out. Um, this is part two. There will definitely be parts three and four because I'm basically going through one of these bins every part and I have four of those bins. There will probably be a part five because I also have those fabric cubes that go in the cube storage container. <laughs> I did this last time too. <laughs> anyway, um, so I, I'm thinking it's probably going to be five parts, but the fifth one won't, I don't think will be like, I think that'll be the shortest one, but yeah, I know part one was like almost, it was like two hours and 20 minutes. Like this is, this is nuts. Anyway, but I, I know most of you guys, well, if you watch my channel, you know I have long videos, and I know you all love my long videos. So, let's, uh, yeah. Let's go ahead and get going. All right, quick recap. In part one, I was marking off, I don't know how many whips I showed in part one. I wasn't, oh wait, yes I do. Hold on. I just realized I have my, I have my spreadsheet right here. So I showed, let me see, there's a couple I didn't show. So give me one moment, one, hang on. I'm trying to see how many I didn't show out of here. One, sorry, two, no, I did show that. So it's still one. Two. Three. So I think there was only three that I... No, maybe four. Four that I skipped over. And... I, so I think I showed 73 projects in that one. My apologies for you just having to stare at me while I think very hard. I think there was four projects I didn't show. So, because they're in my to be worked on pile. So I believe that I showed about 73 projects in part one. I'll show them just at the end because I'm still working on them. And I wanted to try to do like a true, like as close to an end of the year progress picture as I could when I did the whip parade. Um, but out of those 73 projects, 50 of them were new starts. And out of those 73 projects, I said that I wanted to finish 46 of them next year, loose quotes. <laughs> Oh boy. Um, <laughs> wow. I'm just like realizing what I'm doing to myself. Okay. So quick recap um, about my kind of my plans for, for next year. Uh, I set, so 2023, I set goals for every project. When I met the goal, I set it aside, but then that ended up meaning that I wasn't going to be working on the project for close to another year. And I didn't like that thought because there were some projects that I was like, man, I really want to keep working on it, but I said, I finished the goal and I need to move on to something else. So what I did was if it was something that seemed doable, like if there was, if I had less whips, I could definitely finish it. I went ahead and said, I wanted to finish it, but I set big goals for every single project and I did milestones so that I would still, when I hit the milestone, I would still set it aside I have everything worked out in my head, so if it's confusing to you, it's okay. 
All the whips are divided into categories. The categories are full coverage, holiday, seasonal slash series, fancy like, Etsy, Christmas, large kits, small kits, gnomes, sampleresque, sals, and other. So I have them all divided up into categories. Some are in multiple categories. When they, when I hit the milestone for it, it will go away until half of the whips or, you know, projects in that category have had a milestone met and then they'll all go back in the basket. If they are in multiple categories, then, um, like when I showed in my last video, um, a little magic, for example, it's just the first one I saw that's in multiple categories. It's in holiday and it's in Etsy. Etsy, I have more projects in that category. So it would come off of the Etsy category and I could still work on it for the holiday and work towards milestone number two for the holiday category. It will make sense once you actually see it in play. So don't worry if it sounds very confusing. I've got it all worked out. I know what I'm doing. That's all that matters, right? As long as the person who's doing it knows what's going on, that's, that's all that matters. So I will be showing you my whips, my new starts. We'll mark if it's a new start or if I call it to be a finish. And I will let you know what category it is. I will let you know what the end goal is going to be and what the first milestone is going to be. I'm not gonna go over every single milestone because these videos are already long enough and we don't need that. That would be, that would probably double my video time, which I'm sure some of you would love, but honestly, it that kind of gets a little boring. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to show you is Coffee Gnome, and this is from cutebordery.com. I'm also, just real quick, I'm not going to be linking anything in the description box down below because that's going to be ridiculous. Um, if I will tell you on here where I got the piece from, if you have a specific question, like if you can't find it where I'm telling you, you can leave a comment down below. I will find the link for it, and then I will reply to your comment with the link for the project because that I, I'll run out of, I'll run out of characters in the description box and that's a lot. Um, okay. So first thing I'm going to show you is coffee gnome. This is from cutebordery.com. Uh, this is a whip. I've already started this and I'm just doing this on a 14 count Charles craft Ada that I picked up at Joanne's. I don't know why I'm holding it way back here. <laughs> this is my starting point for next year. And let me see, what did I say? I did these, so I have everything. I have the name on an index card and then their milestones and their end goal on the back. And I've done a lot of these like weeks ago. So I don't even remember what half of these things are. So what did I say? <laughs> I said I wanted to finish it. <laughs> Oh, Jen. Oh, oh, Jen. Okay, so the first, I have it divided up into six milestones, with the first milestone being to cross stitch the braids and the nose, the nose. Not the, not the back stitching, just the cross stitching. Cross stitching the braids and the nose. And it is in the category of gnomes. Starting off strong with a finish. <laughs> okay, next up. This is a new start. It is a small kit from uh, Dimensions. It's a Dimensions Gold Collection Petite. This is Coffee Shop. I can't, it's, it's weird for me to look at it from here. Um, but this is Coffee Shop. There we go. A whole month. I was so I'm trying to like hold stuff over here because when I was editing part one, I was noticing that when I held my stuff over here it was getting cut off. I mean, it still like went to the thing, but I'd rather be able to hold it here. And then that way when the previous, like the start pick, whatever, the, the one from last year, when I put it on the split screen, it will actually like be split, not covering up what I did. And then you just see what I did for a few seconds. Anyway, 
<sighs> Dimensions Gold, Gold Collection Petite Coffee Shop. That is what it's going to look like when it's done. Focus. Don't focus on me. There we go. I'm just use, using whatever came in the kit with the fabric and stuff. I think it's a 14 count white Ada. 18 count white Ada. And I said, now you guys know Dimensions kits are... As much as I always bitch about Dimensions kits, I, they just their stuff is just so good. I can't help myself. Um, so what I did was I have a divide. I have an end goal of six thousand stitches on this, and I divided it up into twelve milestones. With the first milestone being five hundred stitches, um, and it is in two categories. It is in small kits and Christmas. So if I was putting it into multiple categories, I did try to go ahead and make the goals even bigger so that I had more, like I could work on them more. If that, it makes sense. It made sense to me when I did it. Okay, next up is a bag I can't get into. All right, next up is a new start. What are you doing? Stop, don't do that. New start. Let me mark that real quick before I forget. Okay, this is a kit from Artiste. It's called Colorful Cow. I will be doing whatever comes in the kit. White Ada. 14 count white Ada is what it's going to be stitched on. Isn't she cute? And I have a end goal of 6,000 stitches for this one as well. Um, six milestones. First milestone is 1,000 stitches. And that is in the category of large kits. So if by chance, if you didn't, if you've never watched my stuff before, <sighs> when I hit the milestone, I'm going to set it aside. The reason, so I did this with the goals. Once I hit the goal for in 2023, I set it aside and I couldn't pull it out anymore. And the reason why I'm doing that is because in 2022, I noticed I kept uh, picking the same projects over and over and over again. Um, but I also sometimes wouldn't work on them very much when I did pull them out. And so this was to get me to work on everything. Um, and so the same thing with the milestones and the goals this time. I wanna be able to work on them throughout the year, but once I hit the milestone, it's gonna go away for a bit until that category is mostly gone through. Um, and then if I end up continuing to pick that one and keep hitting the milestones and then it goes in again, um, once I hit the end goal, it's going away until next year, period. It doesn't matter. Um, this next one is actually in a Garon tote bag that I got from a subscriber. And it's got, I feel like this is a, a Christmas or a gnome piece because it's got gnomes, gnomies. And then the inside, it's a really cute fabric there. What is this? It's a new start. And, oh yeah, it's a Christmas piece. Let me pull this up. This is actually kind of a companion piece to my checking the list, the one that is the uh, grayscale background with the Santa Claus in color. Um, it's kind of a companion piece to that. It's from Charting Creations. I'm waiting for Pattern Keeper to figure out its life. It's from Charting Creations. Artwork is by Marcelo Corti. Here we go. Okay. Scroll all the way down to the bottom here. Is this it? Yeah. Yeah. And Jesus Christ. This is what it's going to look like when it's done. I love this one. I'll be excited to get it started. It is um, 340 by 475. And it will be a new start. I'm just doing it on like a 30 count 
Ada that I got from China. And I set a goal. So the I set a goal of 10% with the first milestone being 1%. And it's 161,500 stitches. So I think that's about 1,600, like just over 1,600. Let me just double check my math because you know, you guys know math is not my jam, even though I was really good in it when I was a kid. Yeah, 1615. All right. Did I mark that new start? Yes, I did. Okay. Next up is another new start. This one is from Heaven and Earth Designs. I was gifted this pattern from a friend. And this is Coming to Room. I just gotta find it. Here it is. And this is by Jan Patrick Cresney. It's 875 by 626, and this is max color, so it has 239 colors. That is what it's going to look like when it's done. I am super excited about this one. I love it. I love it to death. I love it like I birthed it. Um, I have a, oh, it, that Colors of Christmas, it, sorry, I'm sorry. Er, back up. Colors of Christmas is actually in three categories. It's in full coverage, Christmas, and seasonal slash series because I'm considering it part of a series because of that checking the list. And then there is one more that I still have to cut fabric for before the end of the year. Um, but I do have three of those pieces that are grayscale background with Santa Claus in color. So I'm considering it a series. And so it's in three categories. Okay. Room. Back over to coming to room. It is in one category, it's in full coverage. And I have an angle of 10,000 stitches with 10 milestones and the first milestone is 1,000 stitches. And this has, just for funsies, this has a total stitch count of 547,750 stitches. Okay, next up is a whip. This is, I'm calling it Compass because that's what I know it as, but the actual name when you go on her Etsy shop is Rose of Wind, I believe. This is by Maya Stitch on Etsy, M-I-Y-A. And I think I just showed this in my last floss too because I had just finished the goal for it. And I'm doing this on a 14 count Charles Craft Ada in like this kind of blue, yellow, green, appropriate for a appropriate for an ocean thing fabric and that is my starting point for this year and I set a goal on this of 5,000 stitches divided up into 10 milestones with the first milestone being 500 stitches and this is in hang on let me get back to my spreadsheet here. Okay. Uh, this. This is in uh, the Etsy category because that is where I bought it from. Okay. Next up is a new start. And this is from Soda Stitch. It is called Cookie Time. And that is what it's going to look like when it's done. I'm going to just be doing this on a 28 count white Monaco over two. Super cute, huh? And it is in the Etsy category. I have a a goal of 10,000 stitches on it with 10 milestones and the first milestone will be 1,000 stitches. One more time because it's so cute. And then, like I said, I'm just doing it on a 28 count white Monaco. 
I'm excited to see how full the basket's going to be because I remember it was pretty full at the beginning of the year last year, and that was only 139 wicks. And I'm going to have a lot more. I have a lot more <laughs> next year. Okay, next up is a whip. This is from Heaven and Earth Designs, and this is Cosmic Bowling. Regular size, regular color. Artwork is by Amy Stewart. And that is what it's going to look like when it's done. I love it. It's like a kid's birthday party, like my nephew's birthday party. Um, so it's 750 by 535. It has 89 colors. And like I said, this is a whip. I'm doing this one over one full cross um on a i want to say this might be a 32 count easy count lugana and i am currently let me tell you where i'm currently at i am at 2000 stitches completed out of 401250 i am at 0.5% this is my starting point for the year I have an end goal for this piece of 2% and I divided that up into six milestones with the first milestone being 1,000 stitches, which will get me, it, that should, if I, yeah, because 2,000 is 0.5%, so 4,000 would be 1%. One, two, three, four, yeah, okay. so. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so 1,000 stitches should get me to about 0.75%. And like I said, I have an end goal of 2% on this piece. Okay, next up. Looks to be a new start. Kind of like Christmas over here, pulling all this stuff out. Yeah, new start. Oh, I'm excited for this one. I'm excited for this one. This new start is called Creek View Cottages Somerset. And this is from uh, the CrossFit Studio. I just have to find it. Here it is. Artwork is by the Digital Artwork Company. That is what it's going to look like when it's done. Isn't that gorgeous? It's gorgeous. So like I said, it's gonna be a new start. I'm gonna be doing it on a 28 count, easy count Lugana. This is a, it's a pretty decent sized one. It's 825 by 825 and it has 139 colors. Um, this is in the category, Cosmic Bowling was, is only in one category of full coverage. Creek View Cottages is also in full coverage. I have an end goal of 6,000 stitches on this with the first six milestones. First milestone is 1,000 stitches. All right. Now, let me do this. Let me pull out another bunch. And then let me put this other pile back so this doesn't get too crazy. This video might not be as long. Because I'm only at 24 minutes. We're, we're making good progress here. Okay, next up is another whip. And this is Cuddly Bear Quilt from Sunset. I bought this like 150 years ago back in the 90s. And this is where I'm at with it so far. Kind of showing this in bits here. Cause I've worked, ah, I've worked like kind of all through, throughout the piece. Hang on. Okay. 
and then just the border and then words and what i worked on last this like what i worked on in 2023 was actually this area right here i i can't see what i worked on was this area right here i got that cloud like basically all this i did in 2023 um so i have a end goal of this of 4,000 stitches divided into eight milestones with the first milestone being 500 stitches. I was trying to get the milestones like with these smaller projects unless I went crazy with their stuff. When I was being a little bit more realistic, I tried to set a goal of something like 500 stitches where I could easily get it done on a weeknight. And I said this in the first part of the whip parade. Um, if I do something where, like, where I would only have, like, maybe another couple hundred left, I will go ahead and pull it back out. Cause I, you know, you know, I like switching projects on a regular basis, like, daily basis, basically. I don't like working on the same project more than one day in a row. But um, if I only have like maybe another 100 or two left of the goal, I will go ahead and just do it so that that goal gets done. Because I did that a few different times in 2023 where I only had 100 stitches to complete the goal. And I'm like, really? Why did I do that? Okay. Next up is another whip. Maybe we won't be as crazy with the new starts this time. She says. Okay, this is from Shannon Christine Designs. This is Cup of Cheer. And that is what it's going to look like when it's done. Super duper cute. I absolutely adore it. And I'm just doing this on a 14 count Ada. I have no idea what color it is. It's like a gray blue kind of color. This is... This is my starting point for next year. Oh, I'm calling this to be a finish. Let me mark it real quick. Okay, I'm calling this to be a finish. I have it divided into four milestones. The first milestone will be to do the word cup. I'll show you the, the pattern again in a minute. Snowflakes and backstitch the cookie. Because I forgot to, well, not that I forgot, but I didn't do that in the last one. Last one, I didn't want to do that one in the last. That wasn't part of my goal in 2023. So do the word cup, do the snowflakes that are kind of in this section right here and backstitch that cookie. That will be goal num uh, milestone number one. All right, next up is another whip. What? Oh, I keep forgetting to tell you guys the categories. Poop. Okay, Cuddly Bear Quilt is in the large kit category because it did come as a kit. Uh, Cup of Cheer is in the Christmas category. Okay, next up, I'm skipping Cupid's Cafe because... Um, I'm skipping Cupid's Cafe because um, it's in my to be worked on pile. I should probably do something like that too. Let me mark the ones I skip. Okay, next up is Day to Night Africa. This is a whip. It's a retired pattern from Pain Free Crafts. Artwork is by Lars Stewart. It is 650 by 464. And this is what it's going to look like when it's done. I actually just showed this two floss tubes ago, I think it was. I am currently sitting at 3.72%. I think I had said for my goal, I think I wanted to do like 900 stitches or something like that. Had to be a stitch count. I think, is that the right pattern? Yeah. No, 
That's not the right pattern. Never mind. There we go. I'm like, what what did I pull up? 3.72%. That was weird. Oh, that was odd. It had pulled up day to night Iceland. Okay. Day to night Africa. I'm 0.5%. That was a percentage. Okay, so day to night Africa. I'm doing this one over one full cross on a 32 count easy count Lugana. And this is my starting point for next year. I am currently sitting at 1,500 stitches done out of 301,600 at 0.5%. This is in the two categories. This is full coverage and seasonal slash series because I have all four of these day to night pieces started. Um, I have an end goal for this of 5% with the first milestone being 0.5% completed, which will be another 1,500 stitches. Which would also get me to the 1% mark. Okay. Next up, we are skipping Day to Night Iceland because that is in my to be worked on category or bag. Next up is Day to Night North America. I just gotta find it, hang on. Okay. Pain Free Crafts, art by Lars Stewart, 650 by 464. Retired chart, so it's no longer available. That is what it will look like when it is done. And I did an upper left-hand corner start in all of these, just FYI. All right, day to night, North America. I am currently at 1,500 stitches completed out of 301,600. I am at 0.5%. Um, I'm doing this also one over one full cross on a... I don't know if this is 28 or 32 count, easy count Lugana. My end goal for this is 2% with the first milestone being 1,000 stitches. And it has five milestones. So again, two categories, full coverage and seasonal slash series. Okay, next up, Day to Night Tropics. Pain Free Crafts, Lars Stewart, Retired Chart, 650 by 430. Oh, wait, nope, this is a different size, 600 by 430. This is what it's going to look like when it is done. I love all these pieces. I am so happy that I have them. I am currently at 1,300 stitches completed out of 258,000. I am currently at 0.5% completed. One over one full cross on a 32 count, I believe. 28 or 32 count, easy count Lugana. That is my starting point for next year. My goal is also to get this to 2%. Um, and I think I, I have it divided into four milestones with the first milestone being 1,000 stitches. And again, two categories, full coverage and seasonal slash series. Next up is a new start. This is a kit from Design Works called The Delivery. <laughs> I'm just dropping stuff here. It's called The Delivery um, by Ronald West. That is what it's going to look like when it's done. I think I saw somebody doing this. Somebody I, I'm subscribed to, and I want to say is subscribed to me. Who did this? Elise, was it you? I 
I saw somebody working on this. Was it you, Elise? Ah, I can't remember. Okay, so new start. It's in the large kit category. I'm going to use whatever came in the kit. I have an, an end goal of 4,000 stitches divided into eight milestones with the first milestone being 500 stitches. And I'm debating on some of this stuff. I'm kind of debating on like the kits if I'm going to count over and up and do a left-hand corner start or if I'm going to just start in the middle. I, I think it will depend on my mood when I go to stitch on it. Because kits I typically will start in the middle just for the simple fact of I'm worried about running out of space. But then sometimes if I have the time, maybe I'll go ahead and start in the upper left-hand corner because that's what I like to do. All right, next up is another new start. And this is another soda stitch. This is the dessert. I have Invisalign. So sometimes when I'm talking, it's like make it sound like I have a, a lisp. And I, it's hard for me to say say certain things like shh. that's why sometimes I'm like cross stitch studio or uh what's the other one primrose cottage stitches it's hard for me to say it all right dessert shop by soda stitch that is what it's going to look like when it's done I'm going to be doing this on an 18 count vintage country mocha I think it's going to look really really good on that um I have an end goal of this for 4,000 stitches divided into eight milestones with the first milestone being 500 stitches. And this is in the Etsy category. Okay, next up. Is another new start. This is Dog Bowl. It's a small little dimensions kit, just a regular dimensions. I think I got this one from Suki too. Um, and I have this with an end goal. I haven't even opened it yet, but it, you know, I'm just gonna do whatever comes in the kit. Um, so Dog Bowl, I have an end goal of this of 3000 stitches divided into six milestones with the first milestone being 500 stitches. And this is in the category of small kits. Okay, next up. Is another new start. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon about the new starts thing. This is uh, Dolly Mama's, what am I calling it? Dolly Mama Coffee. And it says, bring coffee and no one gets hurt. I got this from a subscriber. I'm going to do whatever comes in the kit with the fabric and everything. And I'm calling this to be a finish. So let me mark that down. Okay, I'm calling this to be a finish. And my I have it divided into six milestones. The first milestone will be to cross stitch the body. So basically cross stitch her dress because I have legs in another spot along with arms. So basically will be to cross stitch her dress is the first milestone. And this is in two categories. This is in small kits and also in seasonal slash series, which you will see why in just one moment. Next up is another new start. This is Dolly Mama Ho. <laughs> Same subscriber sent this to me. And I am calling this to be a finish as well. Um. I have this divided into six milestones with the first milestone to be to cross stitch the body and the gloves. So basically cross stitching the dress and then her gloves. That way that'll give me jumping off points for the rest of it because really her arms um, 
or just back stitching, I think. I have to I have to double check. But yeah. Okay, next up is another new start. Okay, maybe I think I think I spoke too soon about the new start. It's like, oh, maybe this one won't have as many. <laughs> okay. So this one is from Rosewood Manor. This is one of my first Rosewood Manor pieces. Um, I'm not sure which one's gonna get pulled first, but this is Dreaming of Autumn, Autumn Leaves by Karen Kluba. Look how nice that is. And I'm going to just be doing it on a 32 count cream Lugana. Nothing fancy with the fabric. Um, and I still need to get some of the thread. I have some of the, I'm trying, I want to do it in the called fours. I have some of it. I need to get the rest of it still, but it's enough that that is enough that I can get started if I pull it. Um, or when I pull it, I should say I have a goal. Let me show this while I'm, while I'm saying this. So I have an end goal of this of 4,000 stitches. I have it divided into eight categories or milestones, I'm sorry, with the first milestone being 500 stitches. And this is in two categories. This is in seasonal, seasonal slash series because of autumn leaves. And it is also in sampler-esque because it's like a sampler to me. I don't know if it really technically is a sampler or not, but to me, it looks like a sampler. Like, that's what I would consider a sampler. So I do have some samplers that um, I will be doing next year. All right, next up is a whip. Thank God. Okay, this is from Tiny Modernist and this is Easter calendar. That is what it's going to look like when it's done. Isn't it super cute? I don't know what I am doing this on. I am just doing it on some purple kind of model fabric. And see how pretty that fabric is? Really nice Easter fabric. And this is my starting point for the year. And oh, <laughs> I have a goal to finish it. <laughs> So I have a goal to finish it and goal to finish it. And um, I have it divided into six category or God, I keep saying that six milestones with the first milestone being days number 12 and nine. So basically finishing off this, this row of days right here. So days 12 and nine will be my first milestone. And it is in the holiday category. So my holiday category basically is all things holiday. 4th of July, Easter, Halloween, Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, like Thanksgiving, any of those holidays that are not Christmas, that is what it's for. Okay, next up is another whip. This is from Maya Stitch. I don't know what she actually has it called on her Etsy shop. I'm calling it Elegant Witch because I feel like that is what it says on here somewhere. I thought I saw somewhere in my papers for this, like my printout. Yeah, Legend for Elegant Witch. That's what, that's why I call it Elegant Witch. That is what it's going to look like when it's done. And I'm just doing this on a 14 count Ada um, in, that I picked up at the, at the craft store. That's my starting point for the year. This pumpkin, this top pumpkin, is it done? No, the top pumpkin is almost done with the back stitching and then I'll need to, oh, I already said what, okay. Why did I think that this middle one was done? So I'm calling this to be a finish, but 
I need to add to this top and middle. I just had to fix my thing. For some reason, for some reason, I thought that I had the middle one completely done and I didn't. It needs to be backstitched. So my, so the goal is to finish it. I have it divided into four milestones with the first milestone to be to finish the top pumpkin, backstitch the middle pumpkin, I just added on there, and then cross stitch the bottom pumpkin because um, there's three pumpkins. And this is in the category of, it's in two categories. It's in holiday because it's like Halloween-y for me and it's in the Etsy category. All right, next up is a new start. This is from Praiseworthy Stitches, and this is Esmeralda's Academy of Charms. The, uh, not gonna lie, the cover photo, it does look a little like weird. Like if I just saw the cover photo, it's not something I would probably really wanna stitch. However, I did see a photo of an actual finish, not the cover photo, and it looks really, really good. So that's what made me want to get it. I'm going to be doing this on the called for fabric, which is Mystic Fabrics. I'm doing this on a 32 count Lugana in the color Enchanted. If I can open it up. I really love the fabrics from Mystic Fabrics. Look at that, that's gonna look really nice. Um, I love her fabric. She does such a good job with them. I'm actually in her fabric of the month. Oh, which I got today, my December one. It's called Palomino, and it's currently sitting in my kitchen. <laughs> I don't have it over here. That's okay, though. Um, but I have some of the stuff. I think that there's more things I need to get, though. But I, I want to try to do it in as much of the called for as I possibly can. So I do have some beads and I have I have Devil's Ass Hair of DMC, DMC Diamond. And then I have a bunch of the called for threads. Okay. Let me just hold this up for a minute. Uh, Esmeralda's Academy of Charms. This is in the holiday category and I have an end goal of 5,000 stitches for this divided into five milestones with the first milestone being 1,000 stitches. So if I pull this out and I start it and I come across a thread that I don't have yet, then I will just simply skip it and make a note that I need to go ahead and get it ordered. Okay, next up is another new start. This is a Mill Hill Buttons and Beads Autumn Series Enchanted Pumpkin. And calling it a finish. <laughs> Ooh, calling it a finish. Okay. I have this divided into 10 milestones with the first milestone being 500 stitches slash beads because it is a buttons and beads kit. So I've never, I've never done beads. I've never stitched on perforated paper. So this one and that butterfly one that I have, that'll be interesting for me because I've never done either one. Mr. Whiskers, do you, would you like to say hello? Oh, he's so heavy. Say hi, everybody. Say hello. Your whiskers are in my mouth. Say hi. He's a big boy. It's like 20 pounds. And anyone who's seen me in person, you know how small I am. And he's just, he's just that big. Like he's sitting, literally sitting on my lap. He's a big cat. Like, big. Okay, next up, and he sheds like crazy. Next up is, da da da. Oh, 
I just realized the Enchanted Pumpkin and Esmeralda's Academy were out of order. There. Problem solved. Okay. Next up is another new start. This is another Mill Hill Buttons and Beads Autumn Series Espresso. And I'm trying to show it without like... There we go. Espresso. And another finish. <laughs> Oh my God. You know, you could do like a drinking game with all the new starts and finishes that I'm seeing. Don't do that. Don't make this a drinking game. You might die of alcohol poisoning. <laughs> all right, so I'm calling it to be a finish. I have it divided into eight categories for smiles or eight, God, fuck. eight milestones. First milestone being 500 stitches, and it is in two. Oh, Enchanted Pumpkin. I didn't tell you the categories. Enchanted Pumpkin is actually in three categories. It is in Holiday, because it's Halloween-y, Small Kits, and Fancy-like, because I feel like these Mill Hill can't, kits are super fancy, mainly because I've never done one. I might change my mind after I start it. Espresso is in two categories. It's in small kits and fancy like. Okay. Next up. Is another new start. Come out. This is a Dimensions Gold Collection. So I'm not even gonna pull the other stuff out. I'm just gonna, I'll do it on the, whatever comes in the kit, which is a 16 count gray Ada. This is European Bistro. And this is in the category of large kits. And I have an end goal of 5,000 stitches with the divided into eight milestones. The first milestone is 1,000 stitches. I know what you're thinking. God, Jen, why do you have so many new starts? Because I want to. And... I did not start any new stuff all last year. So this has been building up and building up for a year now, which is part of why I wanna kinda of change up how I do this after, after all this stuff gets started, because I, be, I can't be doing all that. I can't be doing all that, no new starts, and then I start like 5,000 freaking projects the next year. Okay, next up is excuse, excuse the Mess. It's a new start. Excuse the Mess from Shannon Christine Designs. It says, excuse the mess, but I craft here. And I'm calling this to be a finish. You know these aren't going to happen, right? Like, you know that's not all going to happen. I can't, uh, like... I can't, I can't just do all of that. So I will show you the fabric real quick. I'm doing this on a, a 16 count Ada in the color Mirage. And I have, so I called this to be a finish. I have it divided into six milestones with the first milestone being the word mess the tomato and the, what's a patone? What's a patone? Oh, the patch. <laughs> that says patch, I thought it was a patone. <laughs> I was like, what's a patone? <laughs> oh man, okay. So the word mess the tomato, and the patch, <laughs> the patone. Oh, man. Whew. You would think I would be the one drinking. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, 
god. <laughs> okay. Ooh, it wasn't that funny. <laughs> okay, it's in the other category. All right. Oh, all right. Let me pull out a new batch of whips. Yeah, I don't think this one's going to be as long because we're at 55 minutes. And I'm over halfway done already. So. Yeah, this one's going to be. This one's going to be a bit shorter. All right. Next up is a whip and this is fairy tale cottage from the hunt oh, <laughs> this is fairy tale cottage holy shit <sighs> let me get my life together next up is fairy tale cottage from the cross stitch studio artwork is by abraham hunter this is 979 by 737 has 133 colors and I love it so much. That is what it's going to look like when it's done. And. Let me show you where I worked on when I worked on it. I'm doing this uh, two over one tent stitch on a 25 count easy count Lugana. And I'm going to show you first where I worked and then I'll show you the whole thing. Hang on, let me wait one moment. Okay. So this is this area right over here is where I worked. And then, because I've already I've already pulled pictures for my whips to edit into oh no to edit into the whip parade, and so I know that my beginning of the year photos are two photos because I didn't show the entire thing in one shot. So let me do that now. Let me see how close I can get. There we go. So 25 count, two over one, tent stitch. I am currently, and then I'll bring it closer so you can see it. I am currently at 24,631 stitches done out of 721,000. 523, I am at 3.41% complete. And there we go. Um, this is in two categories. It's in full coverage and then I put it into fancy like because it's fancy. I have a goal of 5% on this. I divided it up into six milestones with the first milestone being 2,000 stitches. What I will say is I'm not going to get to it in this whip parade but Honeymoon Sunset I have as a focus piece for next year of 25,000 stitches. Um, I'm doing a challenge with Alara, and then I'm going to be pulling, once I get that challenge done, because we both kind of want to get our challenges done by summertime, I'm going to be pulling another whip to be a new challenge piece of 1,000 stitches a week. But I was kind of thinking of maybe not doing a full 25,000 on the second challenge piece, maybe just doing like 10,000 and then every 10,000 stitches, I switch focus pieces. 
to something else. And if I do that, because I already know what the next piece is going to be. It's not that. I already know what the next focus piece is going to be. So if I do every 10,000 stitches, because that'd be 25 weeks, if I only did 1,000 stitches a week for very, for Honeymoon Sunset. That's if I did a thousand stitches a week, that's 25 weeks. And then if I did 10,000 stitches of a thousand stitches a week on piece number two, then that would be 35 weeks. So I could go to a third piece of 10,000 stitches and Fairy Tale Cottage would become my new focus piece because that would be my third. That was going to be my next one, but then when I was talking to Alara, and I mentioned this other one that would be a good candidate. She really wanted that one to be it. And I'll show it when I get to it. Next up is a new start. And this is from Heaven and Earth Designs. It's Family Vacation. Here it is. Artwork is by Amy Stewart. It's 700 by 469. This is max color, so it has 237 colors. I was doing it on my 30 count China Ada that I have. This is like the epitome. She did such a good job with this piece. This is the epitome of a family vacation. Um, this also reminds me of National Lampoon's vacation, like the OG one where they're going cross country to go to Wally World. And it was like one of my top 10 movies growing up. So yeah, that, and that reminds me of it. Okay, so I have a goal for this one of 5,000 stitches divided into five milestones with the first milestone being 1,000 stitches. And this is in the full coverage category. Okay, next up is another new start. And this is from Lori Holt. This is Flea Market Flowers. And I'll have to double check and make sure that it fits on this, but I think it will. One of those rolls of Charles Craft Data. I'll have to double check and just make absolutely sure though. I think it might, because I wouldn't have put that there if I didn't. Okay, I have a goal on this one of 10,000 stitches divided into 10 milestones with the first milestone being 1,000 stitches. And I have this in the sales category, because even though I'm not selling it with somebody, it was a sale. Hashtag market something or other. I don't remember what the hashtag was. There were so many people doing it as a sal that I'm counting it as a sal. Let's just put it that way. Okay. Next up is another new start. <laughs> Have you been keeping track? Do you know how many new starts I've said so far? I know. I know how many. Okay. Next up is... Flora Sampler. It's in a book. It's in this book, Cross Stitch Artistry by Kathy Livingston. And it is on page 80. Okay, the pattern is on page 80. <laughs> Hang on. Which piece is it? Let me see. Hold on. Let me look at the, because there's two samplers in this book. Is it this one? Yeah. So this one right here. And I'm going to be doing it on a 28 count white Monaco over two. I just had, I have a very simple goal of 2000 stitches on this. 
divide it into four milestones with the first milestone being 400, 500 stitches. And it is in the sampler-esque category. Next up is another new start. This is a dimensions kit, regular kit, and it is floral flamingo. Somebody is starting this, I think, or they've already started it. I'm doing whatever came in the kit. I have a goal set of 2,000 stitches on it, four milestones. The first milestone is 500 stitches, and this is in the large kits category. And yes, all that blue on there, that background, that is stitched. At least it's not, at least it's not all backstitched, right? Right? Okay. Next up is a whip. An old whip that I did not realize how popular it was until I kept seeing the whip pop up all over the Facebook, the book of the face. Frederick by Creative Accents. I think uh, they're a Dimensions brand, like branch. So I think the kit is through Dimensions now. And I'm doing whatever came in the kit. Moving that out of my way. So it's on Black Ada. That is my starting point for this year. I have a goal of 3,000 stitches on this divided into six milestones with the first milestone being 500 stitches. And this is in the large kits category. Why won't you close? One moment, please. Okay. All right, next up is a new start. This is a kit. <laughs> I'm too rough. With my bags. Actually, can I fix that real quick? Hang on. Oh, fuck it. I'll do it later. Okay. Next up is a kit from Design Works. I'm going to do this with whatever comes in the kit. This is called Freedom. Freedom! That is what it's going to look like when it's done. I have a goal on this of 5,000 stitches divided into five milestones with the first milestone being 1,000 stitches. And um, I'm going to try to backstitch as I go. Freedom. It's in the large kits category. And I think for this one, just because the letters are like all like not out of order, but, but what not out of order. What's the word I'm looking for? The more you know. Angled. Angled. That's the word I'm looking for. Um, I think I will probably go ahead and do this one in the middle just to make sure that I start it in the right spot. And so my starting point will be the D. <laughs> I'll be in the D. Right there. All right. And then maybe I'll do the E in front of it and we can do E D. All right. Ooh, did that shake? I just like flip the books off of my leg. All right, like I said, 
I think I already said this, but it's in large fits category. Okay, next up is another new start. And let's see if I can do this without breaking my bag apart. This is a cute little thing that my mom had picked up for me. And it's a stamped kit, technically. Friends frame. So I'm just, uh, I'm just stitching the frame and then the peephole. Comes with a little floss. Comes with a hoop to finish it. I'm calling this to be a finish. Honestly, I might finish it in one day. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. So I called for the first milestone to be, because I was kind of just really quick. I was like, well, if I go overboard with the, with the milestones, it's fine. Um, but I called for like 500 stitches each milestone with three milestones. It ain't going to be that much, I don't think. But I'm not a very good judge of how much stitching is in a project, apparently, because as you've, as evidenced by the amount of finishes that I'm like, oh no, that's not a lot of stitching at all. That'll be super easy. And then like, you know, months later, I'm like, oh my God, it was how much stitching it was. Okay, next up is a whip. And this is from the Cross Stitch Studio. This is from the Ashes. Artwork is by Abraham Hunter. Here it is. That's not what I wanted. I'm not ready for that part yet. Okay. This is a crop. This is not the full piece. That is what it's going to look like when it's done. I just saw somebody on the Artisy Facebook group because they have his artwork license too. And they just posted the full size version finished. Man, it looked so good. All right, from the ashes. I'm doing this one over one full cross on a, I believe 28 count easy count Lugana. That is my starting point for next year. I am currently at 1,800 stitches completed out of 178,929. I am at 1.01%. And my goal for this is to get it to 5% divided into seven milestones with the first milestone being 1,000 stitches. And this is in the full coverage category. Next up is another whip. This is from Modern Folk Embroidery. This is the 2021 Fruits of Plenty. 2021 stitch along from Modern Folk Embroidery. I'm doing this on a 20 count Ada in the, uh, is it the October Fabric of the Month? Yeah, October 2022 Fabric of the Month from Mystic Fabrics in Pumpkin Spice. The color's probably going to look off on the camera. A little bit off. And the colors I'm using are, I have them written down. Oh, I have my book right here. Okay, the colors I'm using, the brown is 838, the orange is 946, and the green is 3345. So I'm mainly doing orange and brown, and then I'm dispersing the green in there here, like in random bits. Um, let me hold it on this side. I should have done that. I should have held it on this side, sorry. So, um, I have an end goal of this of 4,000 stitches. 
divided into eight category divided into eight milestones with the first milestone being 500 stitches and this is in two categories this is in sows and sampleresque Next up is a new start. This is a dimensions kit called Garden Bouquet. That is what it's going to look like when it's done. I'm going to do whatever comes in the kit. I have a goal on this of 3,000 stitches divided into six milestones with the first milestone being 500 stitches. And this is in the large kits category. One moment y'all while I yawn. <clears throat> is another whip. This is a Dimensions Gold Collection kit. This is Gift of the Eagle Feather. That is what it's going to look like when it's done. And sorry. Uh, let me see. That is my that is my starting point for next year. I have a goal for this of 2,000 stitches divided into four milestones with the first milestone being 500 stitches and it is in the large kits category. Mr. Whiskers, what you doing, boy? I know, my boy. All right. Why is this one so much shorter? Am I not talking as much? Do I have less whips in this bin? I'm confused. Why is this one so much shorter? I mean, granted, I still have a lot to get through. Okay, so we'll see if I hit the two hour mark because then that would be a more accurate thing. Cause my, lot, my first one was two hours and 20 minutes, but I spent like a good 20 to 25 minutes just bop, 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 bop. All right, next up is a new start. This is a little kit. It's called Gilded Birdcage from Artiste. That is what it's going to look like when it's done. And I'm calling this to be a finish. Okay. I have this divided into six milestones with the first milestone being 500 stitches. I will most likely start in the middle, like where the flowers are. Oh, that's where I probably will start. Next up is Gingerbread Gnome. This is a whip. And this is from Cute Broidery. Yeah, cutebroidery.com. Oh, I can get this closer because this is actually a cover photo. Screenshot I took off of Etsy. 
that is what it looks like or her website or something. And I'm doing this on a, I think this might be like maybe an 18 count fiddler's cloth. That is my starting point for next year. I'm calling this to be a finish. Okay, starting point for next year. And my first milestone, I have it in four milestones. My first milestone will be to cross stitch the beard, the arms, and the feet. So I got the cookie done. I need to cross stitch the beard, the arms, and the feet. Basically, this bottom half right here. Yeah, the rest of his beard and then his arms and feet. And this is in the two categories. This is gnomes and Christmas. Next up is Gingerbread Smalls 2022 from Twin Peak Primitives. This is Whip. New start, 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 new start. I'm finishing them. They're all on the same fabric, but I'm going to finish them separate so they all count as three, six, eight of them are new starts. So I'll just let, I'll just hold this up. Well, let me show you real quick where I'm at with this on the one I have started. This is on a 28 count even weave in the color cornflower from Fiber on a Whim. That is where I'm at with Icy Cottage. Yeah, this one is Icy Cottage and this is the only one I've actually started. The rest of them I will be starting and they will be on this fabric but I'm gonna finish them separate. So that's why I'm kind of counting, I'm kind of counting them as new starts. So I kind of want to do it like this, where it's a pillows. Did I call them all as finishes? Sure as shit did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> Okay, so I believe that all of them I called for, I the milestones should all have the first milestone of being 1,000 stitches. So you have the camper, hang on. Okay, camper, carousel. Let me put this where I can actually, hang on, so I, I, hold on. I'm like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm lost. Okay, all right, here we go. Camper, carousel, cream cottage. I think it's this one right here. Gingerbread man right there. Heidi's Cottage. Maybe this one here. Icy Cottage is right there. M&M's Cottage, I believe is this one here. Pink Cottage. Oh no, I think this is the Cream Cottage. I think this is the pink one. And then the train down here. Anyway, the patterns obviously show which ones they are. But yeah. All right, 
Next up is a new start. This is from Heaven and Earth Designs. And this is Glimmerstone Bakery. Glimmerstone Bakery, Max Colors, artwork by Rose Kahn, 750 by 552. It has 240 colors. That is what it's going to look like when it's done. Like I said, it'll be a new start. I'm going to be doing it on, I think, an easy count, like a 28 or 25. What is it? 28 count, easy count, Lugana. And I have a goal of 2%. I have it divided into eight categories with cut, fuck. Eight milestones with the first milestone being 1,000 stitches. And this is in two categories. It's in full co coverage and it's in holiday because there's like witches and they're in a candy store. So it's like Halloween. You hear my neighbors up there? They loud, huh? All right. Next up is a new start. This is a small little kit called Gnome Love. Isn't it cute? We use whatever came in the kit with the fabric. I'm calling this to be a finish. My, I have this divided into seven milestones with the first milestone to be to cross stitch the girl's head and her torso, not the hat, just her head and her torso. Ah, not even her, the, the skirt, like just that from there, from there to there, right there. That would be the first milestone. And this is in the, it's in two categories. It's in small kits and it's in gnomes. Next up is another new start. This is from Sue Hillis Designs. And this is a pattern that I got at the retreat that I went to called Good Friends says good good friends make each other laugh really good friends go for the snort and i'm just going to be doing it on a 32 count murano in pink splash so it's white with like pink dots all over it and i am my goal is to finish it okay so my, I had this set in four milestones with the first milestone to be to cross stitch the really good friends section right here. And that is, I want to say that's going to be other good friends. Yeah, it's in the other category. Next up is a whip. This is from Designs for the Needle, and this is called Goodnight Bears from Jan Lynn. That is what it's gonna look like when it's done. And this is, I'm just using whatever came in the kit. This is my starting point for next year. I have a goal on this of 3,000 stitches, divided into six milestones, with the first milestone being 500 stitches, and this is in the large kits category. Next up is another whip. This is from Stitching Jewels Design and this is called Gothic House. Oh, excuse me. Oh, I had to work all day. No, don't do that. 
Wah, wah, wah. I had to work today. Got the cows. Where are you? There it is. Okay, Gothic House is 330 by 330, but is not full coverage. That is what it's going to look like when it's done. And I am currently at 2000. Well, hold on. I'm doing this one over one full cross. I think this might be like maybe a 25 or a 28 count vintage stormy night. There we go. Okay. I am currently sitting at 2,876 stitches out of 28,708. I am at 10.02%. I am, my end goal for this piece for next year is going to be to get it to 50%. And I have it divided into seven milestones. The first milestone will be 2,000 stitches. Why didn't I just make more milestones with smaller stitch counts? I don't know. Anyway, Gothic House is in the Etsy category. Okay, next up is another whip. See, they're not all new starts. Um, I will show you the mock-up on pattern keeper because I have the cross stitching part in there. So this does not include the back stitching. This is Grinch Gnome and Company. This is from Maya Stitch. And cross stitching wise, I am 22.62% done. I'm doing this on a 28 count white Monaco two over two. This is my starting point for next year. I am calling this to be a finish. Okay. There's my starting point. So I have this divided into five milestones. The first milestone is to backstitch this little guy right here. Apparently, when I was going through all this stuff, I was so motivated by all the finishes I had done in 2023 that I'm like, I could get that done. I could get that done. I was uh, watching Carla, the craft addict. I was watching her whip parade last night and she was like, I feel like Jen's hovering over my shoulders. This is, I can't remember exactly what, how she phrased it, but like I was sitting over there, you could do it, you could do it. I, I'm doing it to myself too. <laughs> You can do it. You can do all that. Um, okay. Next up is a piece from Stitchora. S-T-I-T-C-H-O-R-A. Stitchora on Etsy. This is called Hall of the... I have it written right here. Hall of the Holiday. That is what it's... I can't see when I'm at this angle. I don't know why. That is what it's going to look like when it's done. Look at that. And they have more. There's more. I'm going to get them. I'm not going to be able to start them all because of the kind of the rules I'm setting for myself. But, but I'm going to end up getting them all. But this was the prettiest one that I like. This was the one that I'm like, oh my God, this is what I want. Look at that. I am so excited to start this one. I'm going to be doing this on a 32 count Lugana from Mystic Fabrics in the color Chinchilla. Oh, I think it's going to look really good on that. It's not as dark as it's showing on the camera. And
I have an end goal of this of 6,000 stitches. I have it divided into 12 milestones with the first milestone being 500 stitches. And this is in three categories. This is in Etsy, Christmas, and Fancy Like. Cause that's some fancy shit right there, huh? Okay. Yeah, they have other ones too. She has other ones, like other treehouse things too. And I want all of them. But alas, I can't afford to do all that. I'm already pushing my limits as it is. I will say I did not buy all of this stuff right away. This has been ongoing purchases throughout the year. Little, little did you all know. It's been purchases throughout the entire year. Next up is from Tiny Modernist. This will be a new, oh, I didn't mark my haul. Oh shit. I didn't mark that. Oh, okay, because I did so many whips. Haul the holiday is a new start. I didn't mark it. Okay. Halloween calendar from Tiny Modernist. This is a new start as well. That is what it's going to look like when it's done. Isn't it cute? I showed it in my, in my part one of the whip parade. I'm going to start the Christmas calendar too. Oh, and they did my Easter calendar. <laughs> I'm going to be a little... Um, off of what they're showing. I'm going to do this on a um, 28 count Lugana from Live and Die LA in the color Dusk. It's a purple. Isn't that nice? Halloween calendar is going to look so good on it. Okay, and let's see what the milestones are going to be. <laughs> Said I was going to finish it. <laughs> Oh, Jen. You adventurous person, you. All right, I have this divided into seven milestones. The first milestone is going to be, I'm going to start in the middle. I'm going to do days 14, 13, 20, 21, and 22. So those five days right there will be milestone number one. And I do have it in Pattern Keeper, but there is back stitching, so I'll have to, I'll do the back stitching as I go. So I don't save it for the end and then I'll do it. All right. Next up is a whip. A tiny little bag. And this is. Halloween Feather Tree by Little Robin Designs. That is what it will look like when it's done. And I'm doing this on a 32 count vintage stormy night. This is my starting point for next year. Where's my card? Here it be. Okay. Um, 32 count vintage stormy night over two. I said I was going to finish it. All right, and right now, I think I misjudged like what, so I have it in milestones, uh, first milestone of 500 stitches, but I don't think that the milestones I have right now are going to cut it. I'm probably gonna have to add more because I only have six milestones on here of 500 stitches each. I think I'm going to need more because when I was looking at this, I believe that I thought that there was less. I thought that I had this one done and I do not. I still need, I, my goal was from here up. So I still need this and then all that there. But I did say I want to finish it. That's my end goal. So I will just add milestones as I need to. Like once I start stitching, I'll have a better idea of how many stitches it's gonna take to finish it. And then I'll just add the milestones that I need to, to get it to a finish. And this is in, it's weird, I thought I was bleeding. Oh. My bad, uh, Halloween Feather Tree. Oh, 
Halloween calendar from Tiny Modernist is in the holiday category, and so is Halloween Feather Tree. Both of those are in the holiday category. Okay, next up. We're getting into my Halloween patterns now. Halloween letters from Primrose Cottage Stitches. Artwork is by Lindsay Waite. Designed by Lindsay Waite, whatever. And this is what it's going to look like when it's done. And let me put this thread back in here. Yeah, there we go. I'm doing this on a 16, 14 or 16 count Ada in the color dirty. This is my starting point for next year. I have an end goal to finish it. So I have this divided into, I dropped my card. <laughs> okay, I have this divided into four milestones. The first milestone will be to complete this line down here. No tricks, just treats. That will be the first milestone. All right, next up is Halloween Quaker. This is from Lila Studio. So this is, this is a whip. That is what it's going to look like when it's done. I'm doing this on a 32 count vintage stormy night over two. I have a thread hanging. This is my starting point for next year. And I, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> I called this to be a finish. <laughs> All right, I have this divided into nine milestones with the, for, oh, Halloween letters, back it up. Halloween letters is in the holiday category, by the way. Okay, Halloween Quaker. I have this divided into nine milestones with the first milestone to be to finish this motif right here, finish off the little bats right here because I just have to do their eyeballs, and then the bird. Make sure it's the right bird, yeah. So finish off this motif here, do the little eyeballs and the bats, and then do this bird right here. Son of a motherless goat. There we go. It's trying to fold this back up again. There we go. I can't believe I called this to be a finish. Like, what? It probably won't get finished, but that's all right. This is in two categories. This is in holiday and it's in sampler-esque. So there's a chance if I keep pulling it, there's a chance it might get done. We'll have to, we'll have to see. All right. Next up is I have two in this bag here and they are both new starts. They are just two cute little things from Shannon Christine, Shannon Wasiliff, uh, trick or treat and come in for a spell. And I got the, I just picked them up as like little, little kits from Pain Free Crafts. Um, so it's already, it's got beads. Well, you can't see that. Beads. Thread. And then she put in two things of Easy Count fabric. 
I would have been fine with just regular fabric, but you know what? It's whatever. So I'll wash it when I'm done um, to get the grid lines out. Okay, so holiday spell is this one right here. Come in for a spell. I called both of them to be finishes. Okay, holiday spell. Um, I just put in, I'm kind of estimating the stitch counts on them because they're not full full coverage, of course. Um, both of these I have divided into six milestones with the first milestone on each of them to be 500 stitches. And these are both in two categories, in holiday and in small kits because I technically bought them as a kit. Next up. is another new start. And this is Halloween Wishes from Glendon Place. Side note, I did not realize how close Cheryl Granda, I did not realize how close she lived to me. I mapped my place to the address on here and she's like five miles from my house. Isn't that wild? Uh, anyway, Halloween Wishes by Glendon Place. And I picked this up in Market and it says, Ghosts and Goblins, Spooks Galore, Scary Witches at Your Door, Jack-O-Lanterns, Smiling Bright, Wishing You a Fright, a Haunting Night. That's what it's gonna look like when it's done. And when I picked this up, I went ahead and got the thread pack to go with it because it called for a week's dye works. So I went ahead and picked up the thread pack when I got the pattern. And then I'm going to do this on a 32 count vintage stormy night. I didn't want it to be that dark of a fabric. So I'm gonna do it on this. And I'm calling this to be a finish. Okay, I have this divided into eight milestones and goal to finish. The first milestone is going to be the door line and the scary line. So scary witches at your door. Well, um, not the pumpkins, just the words. The pumpkins will be in the in another one. And this is in the holiday category. Okay. Last one. This is a new start. It's from Pantini Pantini. And this is Happy Halloween. That is what it's going to look like when it's done. Ooh. This is a kind of a cool fabric. What's this? That's kind of cool. What is that? What I get? 16 count Spooky Hollow Ada. From who? So it's printed. Fra fabric Flare. That is kind of cool. I like that. All right. I'm so confused. How does it fold? Okay. <laughs> All right. Happy Halloween. I am holding it upside down. <laughs> All right. I have, uh, I am just having an angle of this to be 2000 stitches because that house I think is a lot. And I have this divided into four milestones with the first milestone being 500 stitches. And this is in the holiday category. Okay, so let's see. Let's see real quick how many I showed this time. So let's see, 145. Okay. 
Where did I start? Coffee gnome? That's the one I started at, right? Yeah. So this time I only showed 65 projects. Well, 64 because one of them, no, two of them. 63 projects I showed this time. So that's like 10 less. That's why it's shorter. I showed 10 less projects this time than I did in, um, in the first one. That's why it's shorter. Okay. Let me put these up. Okay. So I showed 63 projects. And what really? <laughs> okay, so I showed 63 projects in this whip parade. Of those 63 projects, 42 of them were new starts. So I only had 21 whips in, in this bin right here. And of those 63 projects, <laughs> I, I said I wanted to finish 31 of them. <laughs> oh my Lord. So, what did I say? I said that I showed 73 projects in the first one, right? So, so far I've shown a hundred and if I, if the first, if I, if it was 73 that I showed, uh, in the, um, first whip parade, then so far I've shown 136 projects, which time-wise, I think might be about par for my whip parade of last year when I had 139 projects. Um, so 136 projects so far at the end of part two, with 92 of them being new starts. And among all 136, I'm calling 77 finishes so far. <laughs> now, you know it's going to be impossible for me to get all that done, right? Like, you know that. Like, yes, you can cheer me on, but let's get, let's be real here. This ain't all going to be getting done next year. This is just something to shoot for. 77 finishes. 77. <laughs> And, and we're not done. We're not done, y'all. We got two more of these bins to go through. Plus two fabric bins. Like the fabric cubes. Two more of those, too. Am I nuts? I think I'm nuts. I don't know how many boards I'm going to need. I know that I'm going to use the boards because I'm going to be crossing off all of my um, milestones that I can get done. So what I'll do is I'll cross the milestone off and then I'll mark it off. Uh, like I'll highlight it on the categories tab. I'll highlight it on my category, whatever category I'm doing it in. I'll highlight it in that category. Um, and then I won't pull it again for that category until half of those whips get a milestone completed. So like on holiday, I have 22 in the holiday category. I have, that's the second column. 
I had 22 whips in that category or 22, yeah, 22 pieces in that category. So when I finish a little magic for the holiday category, it's gonna go away until 11 whips have their first milestone completed. And then all 11 of those will go back in and I can pick from them again because I'll be picking the other ones too. So there's gonna, they're gonna be all different points. It'll be really fun to see where everything is at towards the middle of the year to the, like the summertime, fall time. It'll be fun to see where everything is at. If it seems to be working for me, I will likely continue this trend into 2025. We'll see. Okay, so um, I think that's all I have for whip, for part two of my whip parade. I will be filming part three at some point. I might try to do it tomorrow. I get my kids back this Wednesday because their dad is going to be out of town. So I was trying to see how much of this I could this stuff I could get done before the, they get back. Um, so I'll probably do the third bin tomorrow night. doesn't matter for you because it's all going to show up on December the 30th. But um, yeah, I'll try to do part three tomorrow night so I can get that done. And then we still have part four. I think I'm going to do this in five parts because all these bins are pretty full. And I'm almost at two hours right now. So... Um, I think I'll just do it in five parts, but I think that part five will most likely be the shortest one because I think it's going to have the least amount of whips to show. All right. So yeah, that's it. That's all I got to say for this. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, if you see, if you saw a project that you really liked and you didn't catch where I got it, Drop it in the comment section down below and let me know which one it was. And I will see if I can get a link for you to get it. Um, and I will reply to your comment with said link. And don't leave me a comment telling me that my whip parade's too long. Someone did that one time, like too long. I'm like, F you, <laughs> I'll make it as long as I want. It's like they said they they left that comment in my whip parade last year. They said too long. Well, in your face, whatever your name was, because now this year's is even longer. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, that's it. That's all I got to say. So yeah, leave a comment down below if you saw a piece that you liked and you didn't quite catch where you can get it from or if you looked and you can't find it and I will see if I can find it for you and give you a link to get it and that's it so take care happy stitching I hope you enjoyed this as I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it I'm having a lot of fun looking through everything and I still have more pieces like I have a couple kits that I ordered from one two three stitch like a few weeks ago on their Black Friday sale and they weren't going to be ready so they haven't shipped yet. Um, so I'm still expecting those to come in. Plus I have more fabric that I just haven't found. Um, I have patterns and I have fabric. I just haven't matched everything up yet. So there's still going to be more, more starts coming. And I already have 92 new starts so far, just in these two bins that I showed, this one and part one. And we still have two bins and two fabric cubes to go, plus whatever else I can scrounge up before the end of the year. Because <laughs> once January 1st hits, I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be like in, in February, be like, oh, look what I bought. I'm going to go ahead and throw this in the pile to start. No, like once January 1st hits, that's it. I'm cutting myself off of adding to the new start list. We'll see how I go through next year. And I will either repeat the no new starts thing, or I will make myself a rule that I will um, not start anything unless I finish something. And I cannot start a full coverage until maybe I have like 
one or two page finishes for something. I, I don't know yet. I don't know. Because if I replace everything, if I replace all my small stuff with full coverage new starts and I make that rule for myself, then it'll get to the point where I can't start anything because all I have left are full coverages, which are huge. So, uh, yeah, but we'll have to play that by ear. I don't know. I don't know how it's all going to work yet. I don't even know how next year is going to work, but I'm excited. I am so excited. All right. So take care, happy stitching and get a lot of stitches in. And I will see you in part three of the whip parade. Take care, everybody. Bye.